Welcome to Arcade Sunday. Today I'm going to be playing uh, two games uh, back to back. It's Thunder Dragon 1 and Thunder Dragon 2. Let me know in the comment section below whether you've played either one of these two games. Let me know what you think about them. Enjoy the video. It's Arcade Sunday. Alright, so this is uh, Thunder Dragon, the first outing. Uh, I'm going to play a couple of the credits. I'm not going to lie, I've re recorded this video several times and I'm uh, battling to get the refresh rate to look good on camera and unfortunately it's still not good as you can see there's a very annoying uh, flashing line across the screen uh, apologies for that um, I cannot iron it out and I have to get this video completed I really just can't record it again I'm tired of this game now no but in all honesty um, a great solid shooter it was uh, released as a uh, answer to Sabo Kaiatsu's Raiden uh, from 1990. This is 1991, so basically a year after Raiden came out, um, NMK decided to launch this uh, via an arcade release. So yeah, a very uh, solid uh, game. Definitely, um, as you can see, a, uh, an improved... Well, again, the word improved is not really the right word. Um, a, a different graphic style perhaps would be better. Look, NMK, uh, Sabakatsu, they've got their own uh, charm uh, in, in graphic styles. Anyway, um, just quickly back to the game, there's some stars there. The first one will be 100, the second one will be 500, and the third one will be 1000, 2000, 5000, 10,000, and free life in that order. Um, free life doesn't continue, um, it just happens once. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, they also um, it's like Raiden upgrade choices of weapons here. I'm just going to carry on going with the one number one track of weapons here, uh, just for the heck of it. Okay, I believe the boss is on its way. Warning, the boss is coming. Um, again, if you don't uh, stand right in the front of the boss's uh, attack, then you can actually get past quite easily. I'm just going to use a bomb there just to see if I can get at least past the first boss. Uh, it would be good. And. Uh, that is it, stage one is cleared. Um, I'm sure there's better tricks to that boss, I just don't know any yet. Gotta love this uh, sort of uh, ASCII art, I'm not ASCII art, uh, pixel art, <laughs> ASCII art, that's something completely different. Uh, yeah, beautiful um, looking inter screen or inter level graphics I've got going on there. You'll notice that there's no like real end of level uh, like point countdown like a lot of the games of the time had it sort of just flows into the next level I think it was sort of a more modern uh, touch um, I think you'll see that in Aero Fighters uh, also around the same kind of timeline uh, so yeah certainly uh, going a little bit more into the, the modern style of the modern era shoot em up um, although although again like compared to like the um, more modern games that do Don Pachi's uh, The Cave other games, uh, raising 18 games. This is uh, certainly looking uh, relatively archaic. Um, you'll see now that uh, there are, uh, there was another weapon choice there of three, I believe there's four in total. Um, and that guy got me pretty good, so I'm going to have the second coin only just to demonstrate a little bit more of the game. Uh, again, I really am not here to run a high score or to show off how good I am. <laughs> I'm not good at all. Uh, it's really just to show off uh, the game itself and some of the gameplay is use a bomb just to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, but yeah, certainly um, a game that I definitely will continue playing into the future. Um, it is pretty, pretty solid. Oh no, that was real terrible. But yeah, that's um, the not even past the second bus uh, of this game. So, Thunder Dragon 1 um, has an interesting method to put your name. You actually move that cursor around in the joystick as if it was, was like a mouse control. It's pretty interesting, um, very military, very hardcore. So, MPS and press enter, and you'll see I'm second. Um, yeah, I've played a few times before just to test the game out, and uh, you lost. Again, a couple of coins. I'm just going to put them both at the same time. You notice this is 1993 when the uh, 
two years later than Thunder Dragon 1. Obviously that did pretty well for uh, NMK. So again, a uh, new sort of graphic style. You know, still very big, bold graphics. Great uh, pixel art there. Brilliant. Right, you'll notice that you can shoot the letters down there. It's a cool little effect. Um, totally uh, unnecessary, but uh, doesn't do anything for your score or anything. It's just there for fun. All right, so uh, you'll notice immediately, I believe um, that the graphics are slightly more enhanced. Um, the sound too, it's a little bit more like on the uh, softer end of the spectrum of um, clarity and uh, audio fidelity. Um, however, there's no multiply here. You'll see each one of those pickups there are just 500, um, pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, the sort of uh, three-way parallax there, four-way parallax. Scrolling in the background is a classic trick of the, the early 90s to give the game a bit more uh, depth and feel and it does really work out here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, for an early 90s game, I quite like this, this graphic style. Um, I would say that this game is a bit more polished than Thunder Dragon 1, uh, this is my opinion, but uh, it does feel that way. Uh, the controls feel a little bit more precise. Um, the sort of difficulty balance is a little bit more tweaked, a bit more fair perhaps. Again, uh, I haven't really played one more than the other enough to really make it Determination again. Apologies, apologies for the video quality. Uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I'm going to use the bomb here to at least try and get to stage two without uh, losing a life. Hopefully, let's see if we can do that at least. At least you can do. Come on. Yeah. Well done, Arcade Sunday. You've done it. Okay. So we're flying over the uh, jungle. You've got to love jungle stages. Always uh, iconic. Uh, backdrop to uh, shoot him up from the 90s and late 80s. Uh, Twin Cobra comes to mind. So yeah, nice big explosions, uh, nice effects. Uh, relatively easy to follow um, attacks. Um, the enemy shots are not terribly obfuscated by background and other shots and stuff. It's pretty well designed from a, like a color palette point of view, I, I believe. Again, I'm no expert uh, in uh, game programming, but uh, I'm a, ah, I'm a, I was gonna say I'm an expert in playing games, but clearly I am not after that. Uh, but nonetheless, um, great game, great game. Um, we never saw this uh, in my country anyway, back in those days. Uh, I would say by you know the mid 90s or you know, even early 90s uh, Marquez were already kind of packing up over here uh, we did have a very good long run though compared to um, the rest of the world uh, from what I can tell um, our arcades lasted till you know, at least most of the bigger ones were up until at least like 1995 1996 and then they kind of disappeared uh, altogether we had uh, Oh, I've got an extra coin. Let me use it. So let me continue my quick story there. Um, yeah, we had one arcade that actually ran uh, all the way up until uh, not even that long ago, a few few years ago, uh, actually. So I think it closed down like just after COVID, really. Um, so yeah, it didn't couldn't last. Um, in fact, the site's actually been sold off. Um, it's now completely vacant. Um, a big pity, a big hole in our promenade beachfront prime land going to absolute waste. Nonetheless, it's not a story altogether. Let's talk about Thunder Dragon 2 again. Uh, the battle against uh, Area Guardian. Now, don't you love that graphic like that? that things come out of the ground. I just love it. It's just so like, I don't know, it's, it's quite a 80s kind of style thing if you ask me. I like it. I like it. Track bosses, things coming out of the ground. Yeah, that's cool. Hidden bases. Oh no, darn it. Okay, let me just use a bomb. Let's, let's see if we can at least get past this boss here. Come on! Can we do it? Can we do it? I haven't got any more bombs. Oh, I have to rely on my great playing skill to get past this boss without dying further. And we did it! Yeah! Well done, Arcade Sunday. 
Okay, so again, another iconic uh, idea for a stage, like a desert stage. Uh, a lot of games used all of these, you know, sea, desert, jungle um, as backdrops, and it's, it's great because they're very really highly contrasting uh, backgrounds, um, backdrops to any game, and regardless of genre. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, always enjoyed seeing like the next stage like a different level which I think this was something from the early 80s even we enjoyed this uh, back in the day I guess yeah, yeah. Um, but so what let's play Thunder Dragon we are going into the past here all the time I don't care it's just fun to play this game uh, and games in general actually <sighs> yeah gotcha Okay, a pretty easy attack uh, to avoid there, um, as compared to some of the modern games. Um, uh, like the uh, bullet hell shooters, um, although those games hold their own particular charm, this definitely has a charm of an earlier time, even though I wouldn't say it's easy at all, no, I'm not saying that, uh, it's just a different kind of uh, type of attacks that the uh, you know, more more 80s, early, early 90s. In fact, there are a few elements of that early elements of the uh, Danmaku style or bullet hell shooter in this game. Uh, and I've actually seen these times. Oh, I've actually made it past here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, yeah, so this was definitely a precursor to those um, more modern games. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the tower plan uh, programmers weren't involved in, in this game in some way, fashion, or form, or, or at least were uh, influenced by tower plan. Um, if you use a bomb here, I'll just get rid of that thing there. Okay, so I kind of uh, think I'm out of those, so if I don't get another bomb, then I, oh, and that's it, that's me out. But you know, nonetheless, um, yeah, uh, super solid, fun game. Uh, I think uh, Thunder Dragon 2, I believe, out of the, the two games, uh, 1 and 2, I think uh, 2 is... Oh, 2 is better. Um, but again, it's only, in my opinion, definitely give both a try if you can. And um, let me know what you think about these games. And again, uh, have a great arcade gaming week. and. Uh, See you next time. Uh, okay, it's Sunday out for now. Cheers for now.